Kazar everyone and welcome to a little bit of a different video today. Remember I said it's 25 days of Christmas, all baby, all Christmas. And today I'm reading to you Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer because this is the only book I really remember growing up as a kid. I remember watching The Snowman and I remember watching um, Santa Claus which are two fantastic Christmas movies but I don't remember any other Christmas books apart from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Now this is not the book I had growing up as a kid. I just said Disneyland in the talk. We're going to ignore that, okay? Disney, ignore it. I'm small enough. Just ignore it, Disney. Um, but this, funnily enough, is from something called A Little Golden Book and Records, which was supposed to be read along with a record played back at 33 RPM. Uh, 33 and a half RPM, which is pretty funny, because you don't really... Mm, that's a weird revolution. But I thought it'd be just fun to read you a bit of a christmas story that i think is my favorite christmas story so ignore the cursor that's going to go away now and we're going to read rudolph the red-nosed reindeer here we go once there was a reindeer named rudolph who lived at the north pole in toyland rudolph was younger and smaller than the other reindeer they all had proud tall antlers rudolph antlers were only tiny stubs worst of all rudolph had a big bright red nose it was so red it glowed in the dark Poor Rudolph. He wanted to be like the other reindeer in Thailand. No, oh, to have a small brown nose instead of a big bright red one. The other reindeer made fun of Rudolph and called him names. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, they teased over and over again until tears glistened on Rudolph's large red nose. Must be crying onto his nose, that's pretty impressive. Sometimes the other reindeer circled around Rudolph, kicking up snowballs with their tiny hooves and covering Rudolph with a blanket of white fluffy snow. That actually doesn't sound too bad, apart from the bullying thing. The white fluffy snow sounds pretty good. All the reindeer loved to play games. They played tree tag and snow slide and tumble bones, which I actually want to know what that is. But Rudolph was never asked to play. He stood behind a pine tree and watched. He was very lonely. I know how you feel, Rudolph. Rudolph couldn't even play hide-and-seek with the rabbits. His glowing red nose gave him away every time. Oh, you poor bastard. Before Christmas Eve, Santa's elves posted a sign on the gate to Toyland. Santa's team choosing time. Really? Jesus Christ. The sign said. All the reindeer were asked to line up at 8 o'clock in the meadow. 8 a.m. or 8 p.m.? Please be more specific. <laughs> Santa Claus was coming to choose the team that would help him deliver presents to every good little boy in the world. A pretty daunting task. The reindeer fairly danced with excitement. That is correct. That, okay, no, sorry, I thought I messed that up. But the reindeer fairly danced with excitement when they heard the news. They pranced and tossed their antlers and pawed the snowy ground with their hooves. Is this supposed to rhyme? If it is, I hate it already. Each reindeer hoped he would be chosen. Oh, wait, is there only dude reindeers in this? Oh, okay. Yeah, anyway. Each reindeer hoped he would be chosen to guide Santa Slayer. It was the greatest honour a reindeer could have. Rudolph sighed. <sighs> he was ashamed to have Santa see his bright red nose. So he decided to hide. Where did he hide? That's right. At 8 o'clock, when all the other reindeer had gone to the meadow, Rudolph hid behind a holly hedge. His bright red nose blended in with the bright red berries, and the thick growth of the leaves concealed the rest of him. No one would find him there. Down in the meadow, all the hopeful reindeer stood in a line, waiting to be inspected by Santa himself. Santa had to choose carefully. Only the fastest, the strongest, and the best reindeer would do. Can't say that these days, Santa. I think Dasher would... Oh, wait, no, we've got, to do a, we've got to do a Santa voice. I think Dasher would be fine. He's the biggest reindeer, said Santa. Dasher wrote his elf assistant in a book. Ah, that's the elf's Dasher. And Dancer is the strongest, said Santa, pulling his beard. Dancer, not the elf. Ho ho, let's see, continued Santa. Here's Prancer and here's Vixen. They're the most smoothest landing. They make the moves. Okay, let me try that one again. Ho ho, let's see, continued Santa. Here's Prancer and here's Vixen. They make the smoothest landings on rooftops. Comet is the fastest, and Cupid is the most sure-footed, said Santa. I pick them. And last, I choose Don Donda. I thought it was Donna, like the kebab. Anyway, and last, I choose Donna and Donda and Blitzen. The best at twisting over treetops and skimming over telephone poles. The reindeer in Santa's team were very happy. 
they rubbed their noses. They danced and climbed, clanked, clinked. Jesus Christ, I can't read today. Anyway, the reindeer in Santa's team were very happy. They rubbed their noses, they danced and clinked their antlers together. Even the reindeer who weren't chosen were given good jobs. One was to try out electric trains. Another was to cuddle Christmas kittens. Hang about. Is this your quality control centre? Reindeer? <laughs> okay. The only reindeer without a job was Rudolph. He wanted to help, but he knew he would be laughed at, so he stayed hidden behind the holly edge. Oh, poor Rudolph. At last, it was Christmas Eve. How long has he been hiding behind the hedge? Anyway, at last it was Christmas Eve. Santa's elves were busy packing the sleigh. In fact, everyone was busy except Rudolph, the lazy sod. Finally, he could stand it no longer. I don't care if they make fun of me. I want to help too. Okay, that's the voice Rudolph has. Let's go with it. He dashed from his hiding place behind the hedge and went to find Santa. There must be something I can do. Wait, wait, wait. Can I, can I do it like Debbie? There must be something I can do. No, I can't do Debbie boy. Never mind. There must be something I can do to help. The night was bitter cold and a terrible fog covered all the earth. The entire earth. Not just... Not the entire earth. The entire earth is now covered in fog. Massive global event. Mm. Anyway, Santa's elves kept bumping into each other as they hitched up the team. They could hardly see as they put each re each bright red harness and tied each jingle bell. Well, to make matters worse, Dasher and Dancer were fighting over who was to be the lead reindeer. I was chosen first, said Dasher, stamping angrily. But you always trip over the moon, said Dancer. They've got the same voice. <laughs> Santa was worried. We've all, we'll never get there if you don't stop quarrying. Yeah, I missed out something, whatever. And where is my Christmas lish? Dash it all, dash it all. I can't see a thing in this fog. Just then, a, a, a soft red glow lit up the snow. Thank goodness, said Santa. I found my list. Ho, ho, I must have tucked it into my belt because Santa apparently doesn't have the belt to feel. Anywho, who brought this fine lantern, asked Santa. I must take it with me. Why, I can see perfectly now. It's not... Oh, wait, wait. It's not a lantern. I can't remember Rudolph's voice. It's not a lantern, said Rudolph, trembling. The light it comes from my nose. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Santa said. I'm certainly glad to see you. I'm very inconsistent with these voices. I do understand. Your light will guide my sleigh tonight. I appoint you head of my team and number one reindeer in all the world. All the other reindeer, all the thousands of reindeer. Ah, fuck those reindeers. R Rudolph, you're number one, mate. Rudolph was very proud. Now he realised how special he was and he would never again feel ashamed of his glowing nose. Rudolph held his head high. Proudly he pranced to the front of the team. All the other reindeer bowed. Donder and Dancer helped Rudolph put on his harness, and Cupid gave him a beautiful sprig. Sprig? Sprig of hollyberries. I thought it said spring. Then, down, down through the clouds and over the sleeping houses, Santa and his team flew on that foggy Christmas Eve. And leading the whole procession was Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. So if you see a soft glow in the sky on Christmas Eve, you can be sure that Rudolph, the most famous reindeer of all, is very near. And that's the end of the book. Look at that. 24 page. That was actually a lot of fun. I actually enjoyed reading that and doing the voices and all that other tosh that went on. Yeah. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Possibly my favourite Christmas book I remember reading as a kid. But there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this reading of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Disney, please do not sue me or copyright this video because I know it says Disneyland up there in the corner. But we'll figure something out. Don't worry about it. It's free publicity. But thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for listening to me read Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and my stupid comments in between. Uh, but you guys know the drill. Like, share, and subscribe. And until the next time, not only stay awesome, but happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and all the other ones in between.